What is going on guys? Welcome to your 46 physics lesson and in this lesson I want to talk to you guys about something called refraction. Now before I start talking to you guys about refraction I want to tell you guys a story of when I was a little kid because I just have to get this story off my chest. Now you guys probably think that I was born in New York or something but you guys are totally wrong because I was actually raised on a desert island when I was a little girl and this desert island had one tree with a couple of leaves and you know this picture actually is looking pretty good right now pretty sweet looking tree so here's me Bucky just a little lonely girl on a desert island surrounded with nothing but water so here's the water right here W A T E R I think that's how you spell it I'm not sure so one day when I was about I want to say 12 years old a boat was sailing past now this boat was a pretty cool looking boat looked like that and inside it was this beautiful girl named Henry H-E-N-R-Y I know weird names but hey it happened so I wanted to get off the island and meet her so I started yelling at the top of my lungs now traditionally whenever you yell to someone else your sound waves would look something like this let me pick some colors that are gonna contrast okay yellow might look good so the sound wave might look like this hey yay yeah yeah hopefully you guys can see that yellow because it's you know I know it's kinda light but hopefully it shows up now this is what typically would happen whenever you were yelling to someone whether they were outside your house or in a parking lot or in a grocery store something like that but I knew since I was you know secretly studying physics on this desert island in my own time that sound travels faster through warm air because it's easier for the air molecules to collide with one another this is also why sound travels faster at different speeds or excuse me sound travels at different speeds faster through water because it's easier for those water molecules to pretty much smash into each other transferring the sound energy same thing transfers or excuse me travels really fast through metal because those particles are so jam-packed together they can collide with each other really easy same thing is true with air and water whenever you get really warm air I'll label it so you guys know what I'm talking about air this warm air basically lets sound to travel really easy through it now cool air or I should write cold there but this cool air right above the water lets sound travel through it but much more slowly so what exactly was happening with these sound waves well these yellow sound waves was basically what should have happened but since sound travels faster through warm air rather than cool air this is what actually was happening by the time the sound wave was supposed to get here the top of the sound wave actually was a little bit ahead and the bottom of the sound wave was a little bit behind where it should have been why is this again because it is traveling faster through the warm air and slower at the bottom where it's closer to the cool air so the sound wave actually looked like that now by the time it was supposed to get to the second one the same thing happened but even more so the air was warmer so the sound wave got to about here now remember like I said sound travels slower through cool air so the wave kind of looked like this and they kept going on and on and as you can see instead of a default sound wave like we had in yellow where would be the case if you're yelling in a field or in a parking lot or something whenever you yell to someone over water your sound actually bends now that's the definition of refraction basically the bending of a sound wave so if anyone asks you how can a sound wave bend that doesn't make sense to me well to recap one last time since sound waves travel faster in warm air sound near the water or, tra or excuse me I, I keep saying transfer when I mean travel will travel slower than the sound above it so basically this part of the sound wave is traveling faster than this part of the sound wave creating sort of a bend so since my sound was bending towards the boat that means that this beautiful girl Henry could actually hear me more clearly than if we were both on dry land so that's another cool fact that you guys you know maybe you want to impress your friends or um, you know maybe you have a girlfriend named Henry if you're like you know what 
I bet that you can hear me better if you go out in a boat 300 yards and then I scream to you. So they're like, you know what, Bucky, I don't believe you. So then you, you know, you send them out on the boat and you yell to them and you're like, hey, can you hear me? And they're like, yeah, I can actually hear you a lot better. And they're like, okay, see ya. And then, you know, you leave and they're stuck out in the middle of the ocean on a boat. It's an enjoyment for everyone. But anyways, that is what refraction is, the bending of sound waves. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little story. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.